A multi-billion dollar debt financing by a company owned by Africa's richest man, Dangote Group. The event was attended by government officials, diplomats and captains of industries, among others. Alhaji Aliko Dangote, the chairman of Dangote Group of Companies, signed a 3.3 billion naira medium term loan agreement as part funding for a $9 billion refinery, petrochemical and fertilizer complex, to be sited at Olokola Liquefied Natural Gas Free Trade Zone in Ondo State. A move seen by the central bank governor and the minister for petroleum as an investment in the right direction. Funding for the project will actually uh, come from 3.3 billion dollars uh, medium term loan. The agreement for which we are signing today and you are witnessing. In addition, we are also sourcing 2.25 billion dollars from DFIs and ECAs to augment our equity contribution of $3.5 billion, which makes a total of $9.05 billion. The fertilizer project will produce, when in operation, 2.75 million metric tons of urea and ammonia, while the refinery will have the capacity to process 400,000 barrels of crude oil, which is equivalent to 20 million metric tons of products. The refinery will produce gasoline, diesel, aviation fuel, household kerosene, slurry as a raw material for carbon black, as well as 650,000 metric tons of polypropylene. We will not support subsidies for those who are importing petroleum products, but we will subsidize those who are building refineries. Because every time we subsidize imports, we create jobs abroad, we lose foreign exchange, we set the foundation for the weakening of our economy. And we need to redefine those subsidies, start exporting what we produce and importing what we cannot produce. Today, as part of this project, the central bank is availing Dangote with 50 billion naira through the banks at no more than 7% for a term of 15 years. It takes uh, the oil and gas sector to a completely different level, as Dangote has just uh, said to us. It ensures that we begin to commercialize that sector and it ensures that we begin to touch the real economy and produce jobs. Industrialization of large and small scale farming in Nigeria and the attraction of massive investment into the petroleum and agricultural sectors are some anticipated immediate benefits of the complex, which Nigeria's vice president is certain will be the largest of such in Africa. Such a carefully thought out project will not only go a long way in generating employment both directly and indirectly, but will reduce product costs, increase industrialization, and improve the general well-being of the people. Like everything Dangote, no doubt, expectations are rife as the group sets out to construct this multi-billion dollar petrochemical and fertilizer complex and refinery. With this investment, the group hopes to reverse the debilitating trend of loss of foreign exchange and replace that with investments and creation of more jobs in the country. Omelogo Nadi, Channels Television News.